Hello everyone and welcome back to Mission Control in Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles, that, that uh, Minecraft mod we've been playing for ooh, quite a while now. And we're getting quite close to what we've sort of decided is the is our, going to be our arbitrary end point for it, or at least the, the point we're going to stop for a little while. Because out here in the, in the rocket silo, which I showed you last week, we now have a, a tier 1 rocket, which is kind of blocky but then this is minecraft and presumably will allow us to then travel off to um in, in, into space and do goodness knows what and um, so far we've discovered you can get into the thing um oop, like <laughs> not like that well yeah actually like that but then i got out again like this and there we go you can now you can now see me inside the rocket maybe if I press um f there we go. Yep, I'm hiding, hiding inside the rocket. Um, so from here, the, as you saw, some, some instructions popped up at the bottom of the screen to tell me how to um, how to how to how to fly it around and things like that. But I'm not going to do that because, well, for one thing, I don't know if it's actually been fueled yet. And um, for another, it'd be a bit rude to do that not on stream. And we've got a fuel loader here that has no no power in it and um, and no fuel either. So yeah, the rocket probably won't go anywhere due to a lack of fuel. However, having made a rocket is quite a, I feel like his fuel is, is quite an achievement. And that's one we have um, Pete to thank for. So he, he took the, he, he, he was building that in the last um, episode, I believe. And there were doubtless hundreds and hundreds of parts that went into that. So let's see if we can actually work out what those parts might have been. So if we, let's see if we can, let's see if we can search for a rocket in here, or if it's something going to be something a bit more complicated. So we've got firework rockets, we've got tier four rockets, we've got tier five rockets. There we go, tier one rocket. So that requires nose cones. It requires heavy duty plates. And I think the, the nose cones also require heavy duty plates. Yes, they do. So we need you need to make one of these. You require absolutely phenomenal numbers of these heavy duty plates, which are made out of, um, down here, we're made out of steep compressed steel, compressed aluminium and compressed bronze. So a lot of metal goes into, into making this rocket, <clears throat> which makes a kind of sense, I have to admit. You've got uh, fins, uh, which are again mostly made out of um, heavy duty plate but also more steel and engines that are made of simpler things <laughs> i like how there's a um, a flint and steel in the top of it to make sure the engine ignites and a button to to press to start the engine who knows but yeah lots and lots of the lots and lots of that heavy plate stuff um and cell uh, and coolant cells shock absorbers and yeah and then so on and so on so there's lots and lots of things go into that so that's probably kept him very busy i would assume that there's been some sort of automation set up for the uh for those heavy plate things but i don't know where that is or exactly what it what it what it's doing so speaking of pete and things sort of loosely related to pete i was i, I carried on doing the um some of the dark magic stuff over in the uh in the in the tower of doom over there because there were there were more basically because there were more quests and we can look in here. You can see I've, I've I completed all these ones down here for very, getting. This got me various types of nonsense. But one of the slight difficulties I had with this was that I required enormous quantities of dark gems to do basically anything with uh, with blood magic, and they're just dug up out of the ground, which is nice. And we had quite we had we we did at one point have a reasonable supply of them, but I've just I've managed to just rip through all of them over the over the time I've been playing. And going out and digging things up from underground is a bit it's a bit sort of episode 15 rather than episode 30 of us so i didn't really want to do that too much more but I, I put up with it for a little while i went out and gathered about 40 of them i think which gave me enough to then build let's have a look so the dark gems these things yes they can be made through mystical agriculture somewhere Here we go. Yes, they can make. We can make these from the dark gem essence that comes from mystical, mystical agriculture. But it needs eight of those to produce what to produce a dark gem. And the and the and that comes. You get two of those from seeds. So from growing the dark gem seeds. But to make dark gem seeds, you need dark gem, dark power gem blocks and intermediate essence and tier three crafting seeds. To make those, you need nine dark dark power gems. And to make a dark power gem you need to blood infuse a dark gem. So basically this meant for each one of these I need for each one of each one of these I needed one of those to, to blood infuse. For each block I needed nine and I needed four blocks so I had to go off and find 36 dark gems. Which actually didn't take me as long as I expected, but I did a bit of wandering around underground digging those things up and yeah and I, I was able to obtain them. And from that I made some dark gem seeds. And we can find the other prereqs for that down here because Pete has been very, very busy with mystical agriculture. So we have the um intermedium somewhere it's one of these ones oh down here i think it's i think it's the orange one there and you make that by mixing up some of this into other things or or it's in the system somewhere else but it was i was able to make it anyway and then there's a tier three seeds up here the orange ones so i was able to nick one of those and make the seeds which is now planted over here 
and you can tell it's this, it's this one here that's growing ludicrously quickly because there is an enormous number of blocks underneath it that are using the um, the, the the plant growth speed up block effect thing and the and those stack as, as much as you as much as you like so if, if i remember correctly from what pete was saying there's about 40 of them under this oh no it's gone back to steel that's being grown really quickly sorry but there's, no, but there's about 40 of them underneath there making it grow incredibly quickly then we've got the dark oh yeah here's the dark gem seeds these are growing at the normal speed instead of the ludicrously quick speed because apparently peter's reprioritized for steel rather than dark gems which to be honest seems fair enough given that there is 132 dark gem essence over here now, granted, there is also 28,000 steel essence, which seems like quite a lot. Uh, but you've seen how much steel goes into those rockets, so maybe that's that's maybe that's why he's doing it. But if we drop down here, we can have a look, and we see so we've got growth accelerators under basically everything, except specifically for the um, for the steel ones that were here, which have about a bajillion growth accelerators. They 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 disappear somewhere down into the depths of time itself down here. Can we dig this out? Oop. Yep, there we go. You can see. You can kind of see down there that there's a, there's a there's a long column of them, and I suspect it actually goes down even further than that shows. So um, yes, there's a lot of lot of that in there. I should fill this back in again, but I don't really have anything suitable, so I'm just going to leave a hole there. Sorry about that, Pete. There's a certain amount of stuff going on under here which I don't really understand. I don't know what these hoppers are doing and why they seem to be dropping things into baskets, except there isn't anything to drop into them. There's a chest here. It's probably going to be something... Oh, here we go. Here's an interface. This will tell me what's, what's going on here. Nope, nothing at all. Maybe that's pulling them back in again. Or this one is an inter another interface. Oh, okay. This Possibly this is something to do with making wheat, then. Or making wheat block. I, yeah. The, 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 something like that, anyway. Uh, where's the way out? Here's the way out. Ah, I'm inside. It's gone wrong. I'm st possibly stuck inside something. I'm not sure what happened there, but I got stuck somewhere inside the um, somewhere underground here. So let's let's try that again. Hopefully with a bit less fail this time. There we go. Escaped. Let's close that door. Pretend I, pretend I wasn't here. And then if Pete doesn't know, but if Pete doesn't know I was in there, then it's his fault for not watching the video. Okay. So after that, um, I, I then, as I said, I carried on. I did some more of the sort of the, the quest line type stuff over here in the in the tower. Ooh, this is very very laggy. Oop, out. Let's go down here. So, and that enabled me to do to to bring my um, my blood altar up to tier four, as you can not see at all because it doesn't tell me. Um, but yes, to take my word for it, it is it is now tier four blood altar, and my inventory is full of nonsense, so I can't empty it, which is a bit of a shame. Especially as this is probably yeah, it's got stuff in there that's waiting to be blood soaked. Um, but never mind. In order to do this, I had to build up. I had to put put these blocks in up here, the bloodstone bricks, and those are quite difficult to make because, well, they're made out of large bloodstone tiles, fine, but that requires weak blood shards. And in order to get a weak blood shard, you have to go out and kill a mob when it's been um, made vulnerable, when it's got weakened, when it's weakened. I think there's 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 a debuff you have to apply to it, and so. I tried this quite a long time ago with 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 the equipment I, that I had at the time, um, without any without any actual success because I'm not sure why, but I, I was I was able to use the potions of weakening on on the mobs, but it didn't seem to cause them to drop what I needed them to drop. Uh, let's see if I can find any mobs. Oh, there's a creeper down there. That's not ideal. It'll probably explode at me. That lag isn't ideal either, but we seem to have got path got through it. Right. Is there anything in these woods that needs to be killed? Yeah, so I, I was throwing potions of weakness at the mobs, and that didn't seem to be sufficiently weakening them for them to drop the um, for them to drop the uh, blood shards, so I, the uh, the shards that I needed. Um, so it turns out there's this this sword you can make, the bound blade, which is designed specifically for this sort of job. Of, of it applies a, a weak a weakness debuff to a mob, and then and then when you kill them, you get the pickup that I needed. Uh, there's a couple of skeletons. Let's try them. So first off, I went in there. I got. I went. Okay, I've made this thing. So I went over there and I started bopping them like this, and it was incredibly ineffective. And I went, "Hang on, what's going on here? Why? Is, why isn't this working?" And had to had to sort of escape and regroup. But it turns out, uh, the thing I hadn't realised is that because it's a device that uses um, like life essence or life essence will uh, to power it, you actually need to turn it on first. So crouch, right click, and then it turns into a sword. It's, Sort of like an inverse lightsaber because the blade comes back from the tip rather than the other end. Then you can head back in and start attacking the uh, the mobs, and it now actually does a reason a useful amount of damage. Unlike and so do the skeletons, unfortunately. There we go. So I've killed that one now, and that was presumably in a weakened state when it died, so it has dropped. Um, I don't. 
well I don't I don't see the particular pickup that I needed in on this in this particular case but I use I, I did manage to use it on some of them uh, with, with to great effect and was able to then make the um, the blood thing that I needed why am I losing health okay I've got weakness applied to me apparently that's not helpful okay for some reason I seem to still be losing health um <laughs> I don't know why, because I don't have any debuffs. Do I have an arrow stuck in me or something? I mean, yes, but that doesn't normally cause you to lose health. Oh, oh okay, no, no, I do know why. It's because I've left this sword on. So let's turn that back off again. There we go. Apparently, I used up all of the... Um, I used up all of the... What do you call it? Uh, life essence in my... In my um, personal life essence pool thing and so because that ran out it was starting to use my life force i.e health to power the sword instead so it's quite a dangerous sword if you if you forget about it, if you forget you need to turn it off again when you're not using it <laughs> but anyway i was able to um to then make these make these things and down below there's also down here there's the long runs of uh, blank runes across here that make the rest of the altar and that i can use for upgrades if i want so at the moment we've got eight runes of capacity up here and about five ten twelve displacement runes and that these ones make the uh, make the altar store more life essence and these ones make it fill back up again more quickly i believe so i've noticed that it is fairly fairly slow to do the things that it does so it's, it's possible it's worth it's going to be worth upgrading it a bit further maybe put some um, put some more runes of doing things quickly in in down there but uh, that was one of the things that required the dark gems and i didn't get around to and i didn't get around to doing even after i had a supply of them available I've also carried on, as I say, carried on with the quest lines down the here, and that's made me to, enabled me to make a dusk ritual marker pen, um, ritual tinker tools, and the tier four of these slate things, which, like everything, all of the other ones requires you to soak something like four of the previous generation to make 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 one of those. So it takes four to make. It takes four bits of stone, I think, to make the first one. Sixteen to make the second. Sixty-four. Then 256 to make one of these, so they're kind of expensive and time-consuming to make, but I've, uh, but they're useful to have. I've used a few of them to make the um, some of these tools. I've got this thing. I it's a, the the box text is a little bit vague. I haven't gone in and researched it. I have to admit, so I don't really know what this does. But if you do, let me know in the comments because I'm I'm kind of curious. I also made a teleposition, which is a which is a teleport block a te block teleporter. Um, and that's a way of moving spawners around because you can't no normally you can't move them. So I could potentially set two of these down, put them under the um, under the blocks I want to teleport, and then I could put the, the and then I can move the move the blocks around and get the get the bits and bits and pieces I want to exactly where I want them to be. Now that's something I haven't actually played with yet because I made these right at the end of the last stream. But it could be interesting to use those to to move move some of the immovable things around like. Um, Perhaps get, take moving a spawner to somewhere where it's more convenient for a for a mob farm, or something, or maybe something more entertaining like putting a block of um, uh, a block of bedrock in the entranceway to Mike's house or something like that. You know, and it, always something entertaining to do with these things. Al has been working on um, continuing to make more steel um, and and automating things for the for the heavy duty plates as I was talking about earlier. So he's been busy busy with that, um, and I think he said he's also also automated making the growth accelerators. And those are the things that I was talking about that were underneath the mystical agriculture over there. So the mystical agriculture is proving quite valuable now. Now that we've got a lot of things that we need and a good idea of how to make them and how to grow them as plants, which is a little, I still feel is a little bit weird, but is it? But still, it means we've got we've got a steady supply of those things. Tristan's been working on making more, uh, finishing off the spacesuits, so we now have one of those each. And people have been walking around in those a little bit, except Pete discovered he'd accidentally soul bound his trousers, so he wasn't able to take them off, which was caused much, much, um, much hilarity. And finally, let's see, Pete was also involved with um, do, make the mystical agriculture over here, mostly as a sort of consultant type role, as, as, so to tell, tell me where I've gone wrong and that sort of thing. Um, but I, and, and, and provide little bits of advice but he's also apparently been making uh, most of the parts for another four rockets so we'll have enough of them and so that means there's sort of he says there's, there's uh, one more step left to do in the next session to finish off the next the other four rockets and then we'll be able to launch them i wonder if he's forgotten about fueling them um assuming he hasn't then it sounds like we are very nearly uh, very nearly there with the rockets and so make sure you come along to the next stream which will be on thursday and we'll be uh, trying to go to space and we'll also we'll see how uh, how well that goes it'll be uh, <laughs> be interesting to find out in the meantime there'll also be st other streams so there's we're going to have uh, factorio with space exploration and uh, crastorio 2 on mondays we've got 
Uh, I'm playing uh, Dyson Sphere program on Wednesdays. That's another good one to come along to. It's new and, and a bit different. And then, as I say, the uh, factor, no, Minecraft on, on Thursdays. And I've got some catch-up videos coming out, or out out at various times during the uh, during the week as well. And, of course, the uh, tutorial videos that occasion from here and there. And, you know, I've got a few other things I want to make videos about as well. We'll have to wait and see if I have time. Um, but in the meantime, I have found some cake. So let's uh, try these. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> one piece of cake and I'm full. Well... Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one and um, enjoy the rest of the channel. Bye bye.